Boss of Blades. Skill issue. Okay, so uh, it's interesting he's mulliganing one of the fledglings here. I probably would have just kept it. It's pretty good early. Oh yeah, definitely. But uh, then it's depending on what he gets from quest. But keeping the griff would have been pretty good for uh, for turn three, depending on what he gets. Uh, it depends, I think. Domri could potentially get off the, like, off really early, but Kaya going second with this kind of hand could potentially start aggressing really early. I think a turn one birds just kind of ruined the grift play. <laughs> Birds of Paradise was highly undervaluated at the start of the game for Spell Slayers. Like, decks weren't even playing it originally. Yeah, they were significantly better at the Werewolves. The Werewolves were a funny thing because they buffed them by making them work with traps, and then nobody did that. A little bit. Yeah. It is Frost's turn, and he's attacking with the archer here. Block with the Prowler? Could be. Uh, they did block. They blocked with the Prowler, which are uh, which already swung. Swung for two. We're playing reverse chess. We're playing <laughs> playing reverse chess. Instead of figuring out their last move, their their next move, we're figuring out their last moves. Uh, looks like he's uh, just swinging with. He did the drain blood to finish the archer, and he's swinging with the dark confidant and the griff. Yeah. I like the blood chalice. i honestly was convinced uh, trying to do uh, a crazy boat of uh, Nissa. That uses Blood Chalice. Uh, so it's a Johnny Storm, so it uses Thornhide Staff. So the idea with Blood Chalice is it gives plus two, plus one. And then with Thornhide Staff, it would then at least give plus four, plus so. You're playing, trying to play Thornhide in this, yeah. Uh, I haven't gotten much to testing, but I've just been winning with the Johnny Control. <laughs> Oh yeah, nothing that actually does what the chalice does. Yep, 
that looks like all that was played. Well, yeah. I think that's probably it. He played in the Stone Forge. He just played the Stone Forge. It gave him armor. He gained ar He got armor. Armor plus one plus one. That's actually really good. You can also block the uh, gas staff here, too. There's a crater huff. <laughs> There's a crater huff. That is correct. They actually, uh, that was one of the changes they actually did to Domri when they also nerfed the board, was they made it so debut effects trigger, uh, they, debut effects would count towards the number, but you do not actually get the board until after the effects have resolved. So the creator hope will resolve, and then he will get the board. did the blood chalice here, which seems pretty good. Yeah, that verse has been that verse has been putting in work, just existing. Yeah. But you have to imagine, this is actually one of those instances where that one day of judgment could actually matter. If Frost just throws his hand on the board and then gets day of judgment in, he doesn't really have a way to recover. Yep. Merchants, then he blocks, he's blocking. I happened another turn before, I guess. Okay. Looks like he blocked the crater hoof with the stone forge. And he played a silent prowler and a lingering spirit. Jumping the prowler to the crater hoof. So he played another gas staff and a chandelier. And power words stunned the crater hoof, or the uh, daybreak. The crater hoof died somehow. Uh, cut through. Cut down. 
I just started running them in control and kayak control actually, because uh, I added destabilizers. When you add a disabilize in, it includes two mana kill anything. Oh, yeah. You would. <laughs> you totally would if you could. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The difference in mana difference in mana could be a huge thing like destabilize seems good enough because it's one mana but like sylvia bright spear is fine <laughs> i think he's gonna not care at all <laughs> he's played out of goy He's playing something else. <clears throat> I don't even know if I would dredge here. Maybe? Yeah, he played the board. Then bench. Just about. It was, uh, he did the bench full and swung with the lingering. Yeah. Still feels very much not, not like guaranteed any, by any regard. It's just over. Full swing. Yeah, he can't afford to block and leave anything hit for like he can't let two things hit or he's dead. Was Denise the Capuchin? Oh, that was from uh, Yanni Portal. There's no way that was back. Yeah, that's. I mean, it works with Blood Chalice. Avison, uh, he's, I'm pretty sure he's just dead still, though. Yeah. Uh, he's got enough on board. Uh, Ilhard would just be blocked by Goy from trade. Mm. I've seen, I've seen that one actually be good enough because it would only kill the board and the daybreak. No, it doesn't kill the boy. Yep. Is there anything? That can improve stream quality? <laughs> yeah, I can see it. It's a guarantee it. He just wants to removal. 
Are you, are you starting Hunter and Moon? Yeah, I was I was uh, very hard to actually keep up. Hit a backtrack. Yep. I'm still rolling. Yeah, I can always uh, cut for stuff anyway. Doing raw footage here. I mean, Frost just kind of took it. He had all the mana. Double gas staff. Mm. Hunter's Moon is, is a definitely different kind of card here. I don't think it's relevant though. Not really, not necessarily just like worth a card. I mean, it does give haste, but that's only really, I feel like it's not worth the card unless you have at least two werewolves out. Right. Uh, I haven't actually seen this list. I'm going to go do it. <laughs> Uh, I would definitely say Sagers are probably going out. Um, yeah, the Hunter's Moon and it's probably got and uh, I would keep the Worms Wake. They're good for the wife and Ty doesn't really have anything big to stop it from hitting. Uh, I would cut the uh, Hunter's Moon, both Centaur Sages, and uh, one Critter House. Because I just I just want to have a lower pair of, if, in this kind of matchup. Cutting the top end to add in more mid-range, because it's all removal. On the board. And I mean, he's also main decking two archers. Which is, means he's already got a lot of fire stuff as well, and the two daybreaks. So adding the forest guards could over the top just kill every fire. It just feels like he's basically tech to just beat flyers in every regard. Yeah. I can't see that. Dwack. Mm. I think the day of judgment's definitely staying. I can see uh it definitely staying. Starting one chalice, one mystic, which is honestly pretty interesting. I might throw in the second elite vanguard too. Yeah, he kills a lot of the early stuff and he puts off an aggressive threat. I mean, in Kaya, it's, it can trigger off the ability, so you have to figure out it could plus one. Yeah, it's excellent for blocking. I'm surprised he didn't side a second day of judgment, to be honest. 
I don't even know what he was side in the front line. I, it kind of makes sense to a degree. Like in the case if he drew it uh, in that last game, it could have helped a little bit. But he his opponent just denied him the ability of Kaya like every turn. Alright. Yep. Is anyone even reading the the chat? There's like fifty messages. <laughs> it's not like about the game. Yeah. Graphics are perfect. They're absolutely like there's zero zero graphical problems here completely. I didn't even pay attention, to be honest. <laughs> We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. Okay. Very card draw heavy hand. Not a lot of aggression going. He's going first. I mean, I don't think there's anything you can cut him for. There's nothing really worth putting in over a card draw. Looks like he played the spirit. There is a little bit of lag. Still going on. It looks like the, there's the birds. And he did trade the birds off and put use the confidant here. Feels like trading the birds didn't actually make uh it wasn't worth it. So he lost the flying block. So we'll see how that winds up affecting later on. Sundancer and Flip. I mean, he could just swing in, and if he trades, he's plus one on it, the trade, and then plays Brute. Even play Cut Down Brute and get the Cut Down back. I mean, there's nothing else he would play with one damn one mana here. He's swinging with just the spirit, which is fine. Nah, it feels like a mistake not to, because if he if he blocks, it's not worth the block. Card is always worth it. Well, he gets he did do the cut down and then got the cut down with the vengeful. Uh, maybe he just wants to trade off the vengeful instead of the confidant. I could see that, but there's a warm's wake.
double cutdown. I mean, if he doesn't play any more creatures, you could double cut down, kill one of them, and stun the other. Uh, but he has the, the Reach guy. Yeah, Orb's Wake was brutal. Well, with the Worm's Wake on three, it's really hard for Kaya to actually beat it. Okay, looks like the Worm died to double cut down. And then they just played the Merchant. Yeah, there was a 100% correct attack that first time. Because... Yep. Uh, I'd probably trade with Merchant. I don't care about the Merchant. I'd, ideally, I'd be able to kill the 4-2 by getting back double cut down, but... Sunspur! Yeah. yeah. There's the forest. Forest guard and the border. Now he's just got a lot on the field. The Force Guard, actually, I could see it actually pulling Naturalized to destroy Blood Chalice, even. as an option. Just a very versatile card. Yeah. Well, the risk is if he puts the power onto Spirit, then goes for it again, and then stuns the Archer, but if he starts piling, then he could die to plummet. Yeah. Then he would just die to plummet. Yeah. I mean, yeah, the, the, if the Blood Chalice was out, they could have grabbed na Naturalized, but they could have also grabbed the, uh, the Healer guy to make it so the Sundancer would die from double cut down, but it's likely the, uh, definitely the Plummet. So... The only way that Daybreak made sense that it works here was he actually used the uh, the uh, Hunter's Moon to flip it immediately. Yeah, because he only had five mana. Yep. But actually, yeah, Hunter's Moon was pretty pretty key for that turn. Nine boys at five. I mean, I was going to pretty much call it Frost was very well prepared for this matchup without even knowing it. Nah, Frost Armor deck's too good. Yeah, it's got the glyphs and stuff. Oh yeah. 
it is a definitely unprecedented thing. Someone's dying in the background. Looks like he played the uh, Hermit and it's flipped. Uh, yeah, I don't think black really helps much here. He could whack the daybreak and the archer or swing four thanks to the chalice. But then it comes down to like what kind of creature you can get off the uh the Kai ability. Which Uh the drain one. I think it's the only thing I can keep him temporarily in the game. But I don't believe Frost played his plummet yet. But one interesting thing, yeah, he did, in fact, get the uh, somber spirit here. He plays it. Get, cut down the sheep, too. He's not cut down the sheep. Interesting. I'm going to guess he could just block the sheep. So that's fine. Yes. Got a lot of health to try and get through. I'm just gonna try and turn this around. No, he's a two. Quack did buy him a turn at least. Played a Tusker and a Sundancer. I mean, Hunter's Moon is actually pretty good. I've been trying to make it work, but it doesn't feel like it does a lot unless you have really good stuff. Like two or more werewolves. It did, but it's still minus one to trade. I mean, if you get like a turn six Fang Blade plus a Sun Dancer and then play it, it's really good. Because then you pyroclasm non werewolves and then hit for nine. Problem is if you. Nah. Problem is if you rely on it, then you'll never get it. <laughs> Running a deck of all werewolves wasn't very powerful on the onset. Yeah, he'll still take four. At least Tajik would prevent a lot of waves. If, if he had swung with it, I can't see if he did. Okay, well, it's just Crater Huff, and, and then a Crater Huff to turn after. <laughs> yeah, 
Yep, Domery won this laggy cacophony of a game. It was so fast, we couldn't see it happening. My patience is waning, is this entertaining? I don't know what role I play exactly in this stream. Fool me, so I put my mask on. Keep the two of me, gotta keep the night high. Flex a Louis V, yeah, I keep my cash on. Stick it true to me, I never had a gas off. I'ma pop off, yeah, I said I'll pop off.